Okay, so we're going to be getting into some problems. We've already done a little factoring this lesson, but sometimes to get common denominators when we don't have new no, uh, monomial denominators, meaning one term, we need to factor to get all the potential denominators. So we're going to go ahead and see what that looks like. So here we can think of this as I kind of have two chunks, an x plus uh, 2x and an x minus 6. I'm going to think, can I factor those further? I cannot. So that means every side needs a 2x chunk and every side needs an x minus 6. So once I see that that's my denominator, I can go ahead and simplify um, my numerators. And I know my denominator is 2x, x minus 6. I have 3x squared minus 18 plus, or not, there's not a squared, sorry. And then I end up with this. So sometimes we have to factor and look at the chunks. So I don't have just, uh, this is asking for just to find the least common denominator. So that means I'm just thinking about what would both of these go into. So I'm going to see, do any of them have a least common denominator that we can pull out? I can pull out a 5 and I get x plus 3. I cannot simplify this anymore. So that means every side at least needs a 5x plus 3. So let's look at my constants. Every side at least needs to have a 10. So this is going to need a 2 over 2. I'm just going to rewrite that as 5x plus 3. This side at least needs a... This side will need a 2 over 2. So that's how I get my 10. Every side needs just an x by itself. And every side, we have the 5 covered because there's a 5 in there. And then the x plus 3. This side would need an x plus 3 over x plus 3. So if I had to say what my least common denominator was, I would say it's x plus 3 times 10 and times x. So my least common denominator is that. This also wants the least common denominator, but I need to factor it to see what my chunks are. So I'm going to help you guys factor, and then you guys are going to name the least common denominator on your own. So this is three terms. I'm going to do my ACB tree. I have a negative 10 that adds to a negative 3. So I'm going to do negative 5 and positive 2. So I'm going to do x squared minus 5x plus 2x. Pull out an x, pull out a positive 2, so that is what that denominator simplifies to. Now let's think about, this is two terms, so it's going to be a difference of squares or difference of cubes. This is the same as x squared minus 6 squared, so I do my a plus b, a minus b, or my difference of squares. So I want you guys to think each of these need to rep be represented in our least common denominator. Let's go ahead and think about what would your least common denominator be. Go ahead and pause. In case you guys have thought about what our least common denominator would be. 
I would need each one of those terms represented, so I'd need an x plus 2, that'd take care of that. I need an x minus 5, that'd take care of that. x minus 6, x plus 6. So sometimes we have to use our factoring to figure out what our least common denominator is. Okay, this one's asking us to simplify. We do, so that means we actually need to add. We need to get common denominators and then add them. We do not have common denominators yet, though. So we need to factor each of these and then figure out what our least common denominator is. So I want you guys to try to factor each of these as much as you can and figure out what our least common denominator is. So go ahead and pause your screen and do that. I would factor a 3 out of this and it's x. x plus 4, that doesn't need to be factored anymore. So what that tells me that this needs is a 3 over 3. So I would have 16 over x plus 4 times 3 over 3x, three x plus 4, and then times 3. So then once my denominators are the same, that's what it simplifies to. Okay, once again, I do not have common denominators. I want you to try to get common denominators by factoring this chunk first. I'll give you guys a hint that we need an ACB tree. And then we'll need to get common denominators. So go ahead and pause your screen, find the least common denominator. Then I'll show you guys what I did. <coughs> Sorry, I have hiccups. A times C is negative 5. It adds to a B of 4. So it's a 5 and a negative 1. This is looking like 5x squared. So our first factor factors to an x plus 1, 5x minus 1. And this becomes, oh, which means both factors already have an x plus 1, but this needs a 5x minus 1 over 5x minus 1. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite this. Three over our common denominator, and then I can distribute the two, so 10x minus two over And then when I add across, I end up with 3 minus 2 plus 10x, which if I just finish my numerator, it's 1 plus 10x. And then my denominator stays what it is, has been. Okay, good job. This is all for skill six.